once again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel this video is all about the continuation of my previous video i can say part 2 of my previous video which is deploying a dockerized php laravel application to aws ecs backed with ec2 instance using github actions i have given the video link in the description section just go through that video first and come back to this to get a full flow of the project i will give you a short heads up of my previous video and we'll get into our video in my previous video i explained about deploying a multiple docker container images which has linked to each other which my web server image that is my nginx has linked to my app image in ecs backed with ec2 instance the ec2 instance it's basically a next machine i took the php with the laravel framework language as a code base for this example and we finally we deployed the code from the github using the github actions with automated ci cd tool the tool we have used is a github actions it is incorporated in the github itself and it's a free for public repositories for certain limits and this is the build pipeline where you can able to see like whether it's build got success or not and when going through this link you can able to see what are the build step over here and i explained in the previous video itself it has a build step like it will be building the docker image pushing it and updating the task definition and updating the cluster and services of ecs cluster and this is my ecs cluster here you can able to see my cluster and it has my task running in my container instance this is my ec2 instance and it has one services the service will take care of number of task with the help of load balancer routing the traffic to it and if you see into the clusters you can able to see it over here the services task and ecs instance in ecs instance you can able to see about what is the ec2 instance it has contained in it so as i said right it has a linux machine it is running it behind over here it is a instance type t2 small coming back to our ecs service if we go through the ecs service i have my load balancer and a task group for that which is linked to over here ecs service and this is my load balancer and we test our application using the load balancer dns so we'll be copying this dns name and we'll be browsing our application and my application is up and running so this is what we did in our previous video now we'll get into this video like what is the flaw in this uh, application or in this flow like if you note down the url or this uh, site means you can get to know about it if you notice the load balancer dns which is a url over here there will be two issues one is my url which is not secure it shows like not secure and another one is like domain name which is not a friendly one or easily identifiable identifiable or catchy one so how come we overcome these two issues to see let's get into that video aws is offering a few service to overcome this issue one is aws certificate manager which provides public and private ssl certificate that can be used with other aws services another one is uh, aws route 53 which provides a domain name service for us it also provides a way to route end users to internet application let's see first how to create a domain name so to create a domain name we can make use of route 53 but it will be little bit costly to create route 53 we can click on this registered domain if you see here you can register domain here but it will be little bit costly like whatever the top level domain you will be purchasing it will be little bit costly for this demo what i did is like i created my domain in namecheap so this is my namecheap website i have a login over here and i created demo i created domain name like karthikcs05demo.xyz said my domain name is cost around 75 rupees only per year there are other service provider or there like godaddy bigrock etc once we create a domain name in namecheap we can go to the route 53 in the dashboard and we can create the hosted zones over here hosted zone is a concept in route 53 in simple term i can say it is a collection of records that can be managed together under a single domain and it will take care of routing the traffic to the respective application by defining the records over here i already have a hosted zone for my demo but then also i will explain you like how to create a hosted zone so we'll just create a hosted zone over here for example i am giving like karthik csc06 demo 
dot x y z. So this is my domain name. I'm creating a record set for hosted zone for it. I'm just create a hosted zone, and it will create a hosted zone. Once it create right, we need to take this value. Like this is a name server, which means it's authoritative name servers for your hosted zone, and we need to add it under the custom domain of your domain name, the name chip. See here, inside this uh, in the domain list. i have my domain and you can select this manage option and i added the name servers over here the custom dns so from my uh, hosted zone i just copy the name servers whichever it's created and added it over here so this is my name servers and added over here in the domain name service after adding it let's go to the aws certificate manager so we we have to here create a public certificate which is a free of cost and add our domain name as a certificate name let's see how to do it just we want to request a certificate i will be requesting a public certificate and we need to add our domain name so for example i am just giving as karthik cac05 demo.xyz and here there will be an option called add another name additionally if you want we can add the alternative domain name also when this situation will help is like suppose you can add this like in the regular expression format like like this you can we can add it over here because in future if you use the same certificate for other applications for example in our product we will be using api right at the time how it will be like api.domainname.com like api.karthikcsc05demo.xyz or with respect to the environment like api dev or api uat like that in this scenario if you add like this our certificate will work for all the scenarios so once we created the certificate what will happen is like it will ask for the manual integration like manual integration in sense like we need to update the record set for example this is the one which is existing now let's see you over here and it will ask the option to create a record in route 53 so we need to do it manually like we need to go over here and we need to by click on the button it will create a record in our route 53 let's see here i did for my certificate which is already issued over here so in the route 53 it has my entry over here so in the hosted zones and uh, this is my hosted zone let's delete the one which i have created due to conflict i don't want to be here just deleting it yeah Okay, as I said, right? We need to create. A, there will be a manual integration will be there. Once we create a record in route 53, it will add an entry in the hosted zones. See here with the C name entry, like certificate name entry, it will have an entry. Once it will take like five to ten minutes of your time to change the status from issued to get change the status to issued in the certificate. The status should be issued. Then only you can able to see it, uh, see it in the application. Now, once the certificate is changed to status, now let's go to our load balancer. no in the load balancer we have to add the listener port of 443 then only it we can able to browse the application with the https support which means our load balancer will now support the 443 now here we what we have to do is like we need to add the listener so this is our uh, all, which is existing i already added there then also i will explain like where to add the listener by just clicking on the add listener you can add the port like https and 443 and where we need to redirect like we need to redirect to a target group and we need to add a certificate over here like what are the certificate we created right we need to add a certificate over here and that's it and now it support the ssl certificate now i added my port 443 and it will redirect to my target group and i added a certificate this is my certificate over here now it support the ssl certificate and now we'll add the domain name redirection also now what for that what you have to do is like we need to go to the route 53 and we just create the record In this record means we have to create a simple routing record what it will do is like it will be adding a record set in our hosted zone here we can create a different simple record here you can give a subdomain name for example this is my application right laravel application and this is my domain so what i want to do is like i want i want to be like app or uh, laravel dot laravel dot karthikcc05demo.xyz 
and the record type as alias name a where you need to redirect so it will have lot of options like which aws services we need to redirect like i can choose load balancer and it will ask for the region so i can choose my region as ohio and it will be showing like what is the load balancer available you can just click the load balancer it will automatically add the record record set over here for example by after adding do, doing this so it will add a record set like this so now what we we'll do is like now we can browse the application with the help of this record name now for what i'm doing is like just giving this one as an application see here now see here my application is secured one so what it will do is like once you browse the domain name with this laravel.karthikcsc05demo.xyz it will route to the load balancer because we have given the routing over here and it is serving our application and we added our certificate over here in my load balancer and it, it makes our application as more secure and my domain name is a kind of a fancy one or it's a kind of catchable like laravel.karthikcsc05demo instead of my load balancer dns so that's it friend in this video i explained how to create a domain name and how it will be added in our route 53 and how to create a public certificate and how to link into our application and make our application as a secured one let's see in another videos friends have a good day thank you all